to talk about what I call the yellow test. The, did you get yellow magic? Okay. The yellow magic marker should be with you from now on forever as your inspiration <laughs> and your God, okay? Because, um, and, and, I, and, and I challenge you to, of course, take a look at any of the materials I gave you, but also to, to just go to any of your favorite nonfiction reading material, any magazine um, uh, that you like, say uh, The New Yorker, which is probably the best magazine right now in the world, or GQ, or Vanity Fair, or Esquire. Uh, go to some of your favorite authors, uh, Annie Diller, Dave Talese, uh, just, just uh, Jerry Tempest Williams, just anybody, and take a yellow magic marker, look for the scenes or the stories, just look for them, and take a yellow magic marker and yellow in the scenes. And I promise you that 40, 50, 60 percent of what you are then looking at will be glaring and blaring back at you in yellow because the building blocks of creative nonfiction are always, have always been stories and scenes. And so when you yellow in your work, when you look for the scene, that's what you're looking for. You're looking for a story to start and a story to end. Something happens that begins the beginning and ends it in the end, and it could only be. It doesn't necessarily have to be four pages or five pages. It could be a paragraph. It could be two sentences. But we're looking and talking about structure. And, and you guys are going to sit down. You're going to do your research. You're going to do your writing. You're going to talk. You're going to do all of your interviewing. And then you're going to sit down and you're going to write. And sooner or later, you're going to have a product that you think you'd like to kind of take a look at, like to view. And at that point, that's when you take out your yellow magic mark and you see how far you've gone and how close you have gotten to this, to this idea that, that, that the best creative nonfiction is a series or a block of scenes, scene after scene after scene, okay? So, so um, this is kind of what we're going to start thinking about. Writing scenes and seeing how they work in the larger perspective. I don't want you to think too much about doing the yellow test before you write. You need to write in a spontaneous manner. You need to try to write expansively. You need to not try to edit yourself while you're writing. But once you have down what it is you want to write, then it's time for you to think about how it looks from a narrative point of view.